Hey everybody, it's Jen Sheffer. Thank you so much for joining me for today's training tutorial. Today we are looking at how to split screen on our iPad. This is a feature that has been used extensively by our third grade team here at Fox Hill School. And in the words of Emily Miliano and Jessica Armand, they have found it to be a godsend. They've really enjoyed using it for uh, their remote instruction. Their students have learned how to do this really quickly, and it has made online learning for them and their students um, go very smoothly. They're using it for live seesaw demonstrations of activities, so kids know exactly how to um, complete activities. They're using it during Jamboard sessions so students can um, collaborate on a Jamboard and then have access to all the notes. And then when they do the corresponding Seesaw activity, they're still able to um, see the notes that they took and, and do very well on those assignments. Um, and this is uh, something that I think will make um, online teaching more effective for you and your kids. So um, we're gonna learn how to do it. So here we are, um, you can see my iPad home screen. And the first thing that we need to know is that we the apps that we want to split, and in this case, we're talking exclusively about Seesaw with Google Meet. We wanna make sure that those apps are in our dock. So if you look at the bottom, you can see Seesaw and, and Google Meet are right next to each other. If you're unfamiliar with how to move the apps into the dock, the quickest way and easiest way to do it is to just simply tap and hold on an app until the edit home screen button appears and then the apps will start to wiggle. And then what you do is you just have your students drag them down into the dock and then release. But I'm gonna move classroom back up because I have the apps that I need. So I'm gonna tap on my home button, they'll stop wiggling and now I'm ready to go. So you would do the split screen with your students after you have had a meet with them where you can see them and you can hear them. You've had your discussion, they've asked questions and now it's time for some independent work but they still want to stay in the meet. They don't have to leave the meet to do their work. The cameras are going to be shut off for the kids automatically when they do the split screen, which is actually helpful because it will eliminate distractions. They won't have to, they won't see each other. They're still going to see what you're presenting though, which is excellent. Um, it's an excellent feature and it will actually help for their learning. So what is important to know is that your students will have the Google Meet app will be open first, but what you wanna instruct them to do is double tap on their home screen and they wanna to switch to have Seesaw open first. So um, that's very important to note. You want Seesaw open. Now Google Meet is still running in the background, but now we wanna split the screen so that the kids can still see what you're showing them on the, um, Google Meet on the presentation. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna take one finger, they're gonna swipe up from the bottom, and they're gonna do that relatively gently. You wanna explain that to them, swipe it up gently so that it appears. And now we're gonna take one finger and we're gonna place it on the Google Meet app and we're gonna hold it down and we're gonna drag it slowly. We're not gonna flick it up really quick like we do when we're trying to close an app. That's what we um, have taught the kids how to do um, when we close the app. What we're gonna do instead is tap on it and hold, and we're gonna start to drag it up. Share app is gonna disappear, and instead we're gonna see this gray bar. Once we see that bar, um, the app is in this rectangle and we've done it correctly, then we're going to release it. And now we're gonna see that uh, about a quarter of the screen is now taken up with Google Meet. So what you're presenting is still going to be visible to the kids, and that is uh, a great feature of split screen. So what the kids can now do is, is they can be in their Seesaw activity, they can tap on the three dots, and all they have to do to get that menu to appear is take this gray bar here that's at the top of that Google Meet window, and they can just slide it over like so. So they can hit um, edit post, or in, in their case, they might hit add response. They can grab on that gray bar. They can come back. They can tap on the T to add text labels. They can draw. They can move and follow along with a guided lesson from you. Um, that's, again, something that Emily and Jess have been doing with their third graders with tremendous success. So they can follow along right with you. When they're done, they can slide this over a bit they can just tap on that green check mark to upload the Seesaw activity. And now what they can do to exit 
the split screen and get back into the Google Meet where they can see you and they can see their classmates for a wrap up of your session, they're going to take that and they can just swipe it all the way to the side like I just did. That I did quickly, so I swiped it to the right and it's gone. Now I'm going to double click on my home screen and now I'm going to instruct my students to quickly swipe up to close out a seesaw because I'm all done. Now I'm going to tap on the Google Meet app and now I'm going to be able to see my classmates and my teacher and we can have that closing time um, to discuss how it went, especially if, you, if you're if you trying this for the first time. If you're fully remote and you're trying this for the first time, it, it may take a couple tries. And if you're hybrid, I would um, encourage you to try this in the classroom a few times before your students go home. But um, with some practice and um, you know, with some patience, I think um, your students will find this um, something that they can do, something that they can become proficient in. Um, and in a follow-up tutorial, I'll show you how to split screen other apps um, where there's actually 50-50. Um, um, the screen will be divided by both 50-50 um, of the apps on either side. And I hope you will find that to be useful as well. So stay tuned for an additional video. Um, but please uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me or any member of the BPS EdTech team. We're here to continue to support you with um, your technology integration. And um, I hope you have found this helpful and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.